Hi everyone, welcome to the energy update for February 2018. I'm Lee, I'm an energy intuitive and for those of you who don't know me, every month I do this energy update video to take the pulse on what's going on energetically around the planet. Things are ramping up again and again and again and yet, interestingly, now we're coming into this February period, it's going to be a little more peaceful than many of you may have experienced it the last few months. A few different reasons for this. Those of you who've watched my videos or tracked other people who speak about energy for the last few years, you will know that we're in a time of heightened energy, which means things are faster, you manifest things faster than ever before, you have lessons dealt to you faster than ever before, things can heal faster than ever before, you might know how to forgive somebody you thought you could never forgive and vice versa. It's a very rapid ascension phase, meaning we as a planet are moving from a collective energy that has been very low, fear-based, in comparison to what we're moving into, which is more soul-to-soul -soul connection, more brother and sisterhood with each other. However, it's a rocky road and it's not going to happen overnight. Many people thought 2012 would be it, but no, this is going to play out over the next couple of decades and it's going to get a little bit gnarly as we go, as we are seeing. So February is going to be a very interesting month in terms of what you might know as higher frequencies, higher vibrations, this can translate to overnight awakening experiences. So those moments where you suddenly are seeing visions, feeling and sensing things that you couldn't sense before. When you first tap into that power, that energy, that source life force, it feels like magic. And you know, it continues to, even when you're used to tapping into it. As those moments show up, you feel like living is a little more alive, a little more magical. Your connections with yourself, with nature, with others is stronger. Also, it's a time where you tend to have very strong visions for your future. You might have a breakthrough and go, oh my God, I'm, I'm realizing this is what I'm meant to be doing with my life and I'm going to spend the next few years making it happen. Or you realize you need to move somewhere or you realize there's a problem with a relationship that has been there for a long time that you and the other person perhaps haven't been addressing and you suddenly realize, oh, I need to deal with this. So we have this breakthrough energy when we, awakening energy hits us. Sometimes we act on it, sometimes we don't. You see, when our third eye and our senses open up into feeling everything that is here, these are very cosmic experiences and sometimes all you need do is sit in them and go, oh my god, wow, this is really trippy, what have I been smoking? You haven't been smoking anything. Well, some of you may have because that can also induce those experiences, but we don't need that substance for those experiences. So it will be interesting for those of you who are used to this experience to see how that shows up a little bit in February because the message I was getting this morning is that the energy of peace and the energy of visionary awakening is going to be hitting the planet a lot in this coming month. Equally, what that can do is it can be popping people open left, right and center. So people around you who never thought they would think about or talk about energy or the kind of people who I occasionally see comment on my videos going, I thought this was going to be about oil. Um, you know, um, having really cosmic experiences where suddenly things pop open for you. So in energy terms, this is going to be a high month and a cosmic month in terms of what's possible. So more of you should be feeling peace and connection than ever before and it will show up in different ways. But equally, what that can do is it can raise all the lower stuff to the surface. Now don't panic those of you who are like, oh god, the last few months were hard enough. You know, I have said this in the last few videos, one of the things that I think the group who call themselves light workers are really having to come to terms with right now is it's time to really just get in the trenches and be action based and that means not just about the rest of the world, often if you're a light worker who's in despair or has been troubled for a long time or you feel like you go in and out of depression and not wanting to be here, you should make 2018 the year that you are your focus.
We often hear that it's an inside job from all the great spiritual teachings out there, and it's true. It starts inside us, and then as we can lighten and brighten who we are internally and recognize that's really important work, then we naturally become more benevolent, more healing, more useful to others. I've seen that time and time again with all the people that I've worked with. I experience it in my own life. So. If that's you, if you're sitting there going, oh God, no more, then okay, let's not play the game of, oh God, no more, being in fear of suffering. Let's tackle suffering head on. Make an action plan for yourself for 2018 of all the support you're going to need to lift yourself. Because no, you aren't supposed to be on this planet struggling. Yes, struggling and suffering are a part of the planet. But you wouldn't be watching this video if you just wanted to, you know, give up and sit in those energies. There is a part of you that knows that you are here to bring something to the world and to experience something in the world. And those two things have to be in balance. I meet many people who, you know, kind of get a little bit bored of just sitting back and watching the world go by eventually, even if it's peaceful for a while or you need it to recover. And then equally, I see other people who are like working it hard, working it hard, but not really giving themselves the time to sit back and integrate and process everything that's happening. Which leads me to another point. Are you taking time to process everything that is happening? I don't necessarily mean talking about it for 90 minutes to people. Sometimes, you know, we need 90 minutes to talk about it, but really most of us can talk about whatever it is that we're trying to get to the heart of within a few minutes, uh, you know, maybe a little longer if it's a big thing. But I mean, are you giving yourself space and time to not only sit back and catch up with the speed of these times, but give yourself time to sense and feel the difference. Amanda, who is on our, my team, um, she has this great phrase, Western mania, and she talks about the Western mania that we all get caught up in. And it's true, we, we are caught up in it. It is part of why we're here. We're partly here to drive and be energy, and equally, we get sucked into that pattern and it becomes out of balance for all of us. So are you taking the time out this month to listen, to stop? to be, because those higher energies I'm talking about, they're going to get you one way or another. They're going to get you in a really nice way if you're stopping, listening, writing a gratitude journal at night, or taking 15 minutes a day to sit by your favorite tree. An act of self-care that is not indulgent, that is not just you switching off, it's actually you fueling yourself. Because that's the other message of this month. We need to fuel ourselves better than we have been. It's not that we don't have all the tools at our disposal, we do. But as we go through the next few years, those of us who will have the most abundant time, and I mean abundance on all levels there, abundance really is just the ability to flow in and out of life with as little restriction as possible, to be able to receive, to give, all of it but we need to fuel ourselves. So I spoke a few months ago to those of you who, you know, kind of teeter on the burnout. These times are very different. So even if you think you had it down in 2015, 2016, the way the energy is coming in now, it is asking us all to create small but potent changes in our life if we aren't feeling them. So if you're not all good, if you're not like out there going, oh my God, I'm great and the universe is cosmic and let me share this with everybody and give them a hug. By the way, we love you people, keep that up. Um, if you're not in that space, then it's time for you to go, okay, what do I need next? How do I fuel myself? I do feel like a broken record sometimes in these messages, not just for you, also for me, because what I keep hearing is how simple a lot of this stuff is. I think the one thing that has mainly changed in my messages over the last two years, these energy updates, it, not necessarily the details because I have to keep bringing certain things forward so that we remember and ingrain them because really what I'm talking about is how to live as an awakening being at these times. But the one thing that has changed and that they keep being really clear about is things are very different and they're getting more different faster. You see that with the dissolution of the old that's playing out in the world in a big way. Where's your focus? Are you focused on everything that's leaving? Are you focused on everything that's missing? Or are you focused on, okay, here's the space and I'm gonna walk towards the space and I'm gonna generate something new? Because looking that way is painful if you are inactively or passively looking at it, feeling it, playing with it. It will start to bring you down. It will 
tap your own sense of fear. If you look this way and go, wow, these are really alive, innovative times and I can be part of them. May not have the energy today, but hell yeah, that's where I'm going. That's the energy you want to cultivate to really be able to fly in these times and to be who you came here to be. So, always beautiful to connect with you on these energy updates. I hope you're doing well out there and I hope you have some really good time for self-care in February. Uh, we have a few things going on uh, that I would love to tell you about and at the end of this video we'll play you a clip from The Light Beyond Fear. Um, it's a musical and healing journey that was recorded live at my Costa Rica retreat. Um, my sound healing and channeling evenings are a combination of me bringing intuitive messages through, the Z's channeling, and then myself and Devor Bozik and or Narada Wise bringing music and sound healing into the room. We will be bringing those to Portland and Santa Fe live, our Sound of the Soul evenings, um, in February and in April. We're also bringing the Energy Mastery Experience, a three-day transformation weekend to Portland and Santa Fe in February and in April. So check the website for those details. And last but not least, Impact the World is my four-day training for change makers, entrepreneurs, and creatives. So if you have a message for the world, if you want to bring your work to the world via the various forms of media that the internet now affords us, but you're not quite sure how to get your messaging right, how to start, which mediums you want to use and how to use them. Equally, if you're worried that you're not good enough, if you think, why should I do it? There's already Elizabeth Gilbert out there come to impact the world. I'm going to do the front of house and behind the scenes training with you for, actually it's five days, and then three follow-up uh, calls over the following months so that you can really take your work to the next level. Always good to see you guys. Oh, I forgot, almost forgot. Austin, I'm at the Conscious Media Festival in Austin, uh, March 2nd to the 4th. So we'll now play you the clip um, from Light Beyond Fear. It's free to portal members or it's the new MP3 available in our store. So we hope to see you at one of the events or if not, see you next month on this video. Big love everyone. Some of you fear the way that you have used your fire in the past. You feel shame for things you have done or said that you perceive hurt others, that perhaps did hurt others. Some of you are afraid that you will burn out again, as is your pattern. To give and give and give, or to elevate your fire and to be left with nothing because you were so mm, being overrun by the fire that you weren't paying attention to how it was affecting your environment. This is why you learn balance. This is why burnout happens. It's to show you that some part of you is not in touch uh, with what you need to maintain your balance and your energy. So you desire fire and you are afraid of it. It has the power to hurt you, it has the power to warm you and fuel your life. But fire is your friend and your new way of using your fire on earth is going to help you connect more and more with others. It is going to warm your soul. You have no choice. You have to step forward into your fire. You have no choice. So let yourself weep as much as you wish to. Let yourself feel fear as much as you wish to. Let yourself be in grief as much as you wish to. But eventually, you are going to step forward. For the fire that is within you, will transform your world and the world of others. I can see no way out of this So I'll just dive into this Within Within Though there's a warning to resist I will give myself to this Within Within I can see 
no way out of this so i'll just dive into this within within though there's a warning to resist i will give my so